Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 7 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about the clipping indicators in Lightroom. Now there's some redundancy here because I covered this in my other video series, Learn Lightroom 5. But I want to cover it in this video series as well because to this day, this is the most common email I get. People are emailing me saying, I have all this red in my image, or I have all this blue. I don't know what it means, I don't know how it got there, I don't know how to get rid of it. Well, I'm going to try to explain to you how you might have inadvertently turned on the clipping indicators in Lightroom, and that's why you're getting those colors there. Let me explain to you what it's all about. If you're in Lightroom, in the Develop module, and you go over to the histogram, you can see there's two triangles in the corners of the histogram. If I hover over the one on the left, you're going to see a large part of my image just turn blue. The parts that are blue are absolute black. That means there's no detail there, it's just absolute pitch black. Nothing, my blacks are being clipped. That's the clipping indicator. Now if I go over to the other one on the right, you can see a large part of the image is now red. That means that area is blown out, absolute white, no detail. I'm clipping the whites. So that's the indicators. Now, as you can see, as I pulled away from those triangles, it turned off. You might have accidentally turned one on by clicking on a triangle. If I click on this one, you can see it stays on. If I click on the other one, it stays on as well. Now, you could turn those off simply by clicking on them again. So that might have been how you accidentally turned those on. The other way you could have done it is by, when you're in the Develop module, inadvertently hitting the J key. J is in Jack. We'll toggle those on. You can turn them off by hitting the J key again. So the J key toggles those on and off. Now actually you could use these clipping indicators to your advantage. When you're processing your image you could turn them on. You could see which parts of your image are blown out and which parts are absolute black. Then you could go over here to the whites and the blacks. You could do the highlights and shadows too. But usually you go to the whites and blacks and you could just pull the whites down until the red goes away. And usually you don't want to bring it all the way off. You want just a tiny bit of red there. Uh, just to add depth to your image so that you're getting the whole dynamic range of the scene. So you're going to have some part of the image that is still absolute white, but very little. You can see there's a tiny bit of red here and a little bit over here. Now, similarly for the blacks, you go to the black slider and you just open up the blacks by going to the right. And you just go, go, go until you get just a tiny bit of of blue on your image. That part is absolute black. So keeping just a little bit of black there and a little bit of white there, in this case a little bit of blue and a little bit of red, gives you more depth to the image. Now you can turn it off by hitting the J key and now you have the uh, the image properly adjusted so you're not overly clipping the whites or the blacks. That's it for episode 7. If you guys could do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd really appreciate that. And I'd like to thank everyone that has already subscribed. And if you have time, go over to my website, anthonymorganti.com. i got all kinds of photography stuff over there. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.